Hello, this is Dr. Victoria Skirbo speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. I want to talk to you today about the astrology of um, Wednesday, August 1st. Today the moon is in Aries. The moon shifts into Aries uh, early in the morning, about 6 o'clock in the morning on the east coast of the U.S. The Aries moon um, is a certainly a fiery moon. It's about initiating. It's um, about action. And the Aries moon actually makes a supportive connection to Mars in, in Aquarius. Uh, Mars is the ruling planet of Aries. Aquarius, um, Mars in Aquarius is action, can be action around uh, breaking free, uh, rebellion. It can also be action around uh, working together with others to, uh, for the common good. And then um, Mars also makes a square to uh, Saturn, uh, Mars, um, the Moon in Aries makes a square to Saturn. We come up against um, the power structures, okay, which can be very frustrating. Now Mars is, continues to be retrograde, Mercury is retrograde in, in Leo, Mars in Aquarius, Mercury in Leo. Mars in Aquarius, you know, wants to act and wants to rebel. Mercury in Leo wants to self-express and this is all sort of being frustrated and it builds up an awful lot of energy. The major aspect today is actually a square between Mars and Uranus. Uh, Uranus in Taurus um, is the great awakener and uh, we actually had this aspect uh, in, in May. Um, I believe it was the very beginning of May, but um, I'd have to look back and see that. But um, and that sort of sort of lit the fire for the summer, really. Um, and we've, uh, I mean, it's hard to sometimes it's hard to determine when this all began, sort of, because it's just one thing after another after another. But the process is a process of awakening, and the square between Mars and uh, Uranus is a crisis in consciousness. It's about individuating, it's about uh, moving out of the herd, uh, moving out of the consensus, uh, deconditioning from the conditions that uh, we're we find ourselves in um, the conditions of childhood, the conditions of how we were raised, the, so, the social order. Uh, it's a breaking down of the social order, but the social order that prevents us from being the best people that we can be, the social order that prevents us from being loving and being there for each other. Um, that's that. Now everything come. Now everything can come down. It's not just uh, that stuff, um, but. Uh, if we can focus on what we want to bring to the party, if we can focus on what we want to actually create, that is really uh, the only way to work with this energy. You can control it, um, but you can focus the energy and focus it by visualizing that which one you want to bring into your life. Do you want to bring in happiness? Do you want to bring in abundance? Do you want to bring peace into your life? Do you want to see a more verdant and fair world? If we can focus on that, take our minds and, uh, and our hearts away from the chaos and the chaos makers and just focus on the things that we want to bring into our lives. Um, there may be a little fighting that needs to happen. You may, may need to stand up for things. That's fine. Um, but um, your primary concern needs to be about life and liberty and um, and that liberty, you know, going against somebody else, um, your liberty at the sake of somebody else's, uh, unliberty, I don't think that's a word, but you know what I mean, but, um, really allowing yourself to be who you were meant to be. We are all stars. We are all parts of the divine, um, sparks of the divine. We actually have all of that within us, and, uh, uh, the sooner we wake up to that, the sooner we can create the world that uh, we want to live in. So, be careful today. The energy is very explosive. There's a lot of frustration out there. So, uh, watch yourself. Uh, be careful on the roads and such. Um, avoid confrontation. Uh, this is a long, 
this is a long journey to uh, self-realization. So uh, we don't have to do it all in one day. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, if you enjoy these videos, press the like button if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading. I can be reached at thesedsoftransformation.com. Um, subscribe to my channel, that helps, and I will see you again tomorrow. Ciao.